Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 1e on page 34 of Fundamental Applied Mathematics. And the question I'm going to do is number 4. So, uh, I suppose I'm going to put this in front of you. Question 3, where you going? Sorry, this is actually, yeah, question 4. Okay, so, r is a magnitude, r is a vector of certain magnitude in a certain direction, s is a vector of certain direction and find the magnitude of s if r is s or r plus s has no i component. Right, well with all these questions uh, what do you do? You start off by drawing your x-axis and your y-axis which creates your xy plane or your Cartesian plane. You also draw your unit vectors. They're down the top right. I've drawn i hat and j hat as per normal. Now the next thing is we have to actually draw the vectors that we're given in our problem. So the first vector was s. And you know that ve vector s is one which has uh, no, sorry, which is uh, along the positive i hat axis. Now I know there's a bit of discrepancy. They say i hat. It's along the x axis, but in the i hat direction. All right. So here, because like for example, it could be on the x axis and the negative i hat direction if it was facing this direction. That would be negative i hat direction but still along the x-axis. Anyway, so we know that s is along the i hat, it is along the x-axis and uh, we're just going to draw it here. It actually doesn't say that it's uh, along the uh, it's um, the positive i hat direction we'll say. So that's the positive i hat direction. And there's the, the vector s. We don't know what magnitude the vector s is. So we'll just draw a vector of any length. Next we have a vector of magnitude 10 units at a direction west 70 degrees north. Okay, so there's the uh, there's the vector west 70 degrees north. Now, how do we know that? Well, it's 70 degrees north of west. Remember your compass? There's your compass on the left. You have north, south, west, and east. So west corresponds, would say, the negative i hat direction along the x axis, as I spoke about a moment ago. So we have, there's west, there's north, so 70 degrees north of west is somewhere up here, so just draw your, draw your vector, draw 70 degrees, and that is the vector r. Alright, so uh, we're asked to find the magnitude of s if r plus s is no i hat component. Now just a quick recap of adding vectors. Say if you have two of vectors a and b, like that. Now, how do we add them? Remember, you put the tail of the second and the head of the first and draw your resultant vector from the head of the first to the tail of the second. So you see a and b. If you want to add a plus b, you draw a again. You put the tail of b on the head of a and you draw your resultant vector from the tail of a to the head of b. So this vector here is the vector a plus b. That's the vector a plus b, like that. I know that's drawn quite poorly. Actually, I'll just draw that one again. So the vector a plus b would be like this. All right. So, just very quickly, a recap of other ones that we could possibly have. We could have minus a minus b. So this one here, you just turn a around, and there's minus a. There's minus b. Okay, because that was b up there. So, just, so minus b would be like this, that's minus b, this is minus a. Remember all that matters is the magnitude and direction, it doesn't matter where they physically are. So there's a minus a minus b, so you put the tail of minus b and the head of minus a. There's minus a, there's the tail, like that, and draw your resultant vector from the tail of a to the head of b, like that. And same over here, so you're going minus a, sorry, you're going a minus b. So this is plus a minus b and draw your resultant vector. All right. That was just a quick recap on that. So what we're given is, we're given that the vector s, or the vector r plus s has no i component. So this will say s plus r and has no i hat component. So therefore it is equal to 0 i hat 
plus um, question mark j hat. Alright, so what we can do is we can just ignore, well actually no, I'll keep that for the moment. So, we do know that it's equal to zero, zero i hat. So what is s plus r? Well, we'll go and add s plus r. Now, first of all, before we do that, we have the vector, r like this, that's r, it's 70 degrees, right, and we just need to resolve r because we need to, sorry, put it into its component vectors because at the moment it's a resultant vector, right, so it's an a plus b vector, uh, it's in other, so we need to resolve it, and we, we've done this plenty of times, so we could go, we'll say it's this vector plus this vector, or you could say it's this vector here plus this vector here. It doesn't really matter. I suppose they're the easiest ones. So we'll just do that again. So look, like I said, you should have done this plenty of times at this stage. Just look at previous videos if you're getting any way confused whatsoever. So 70 degrees, like that. So we use, of course, Sakatoa, where sine 70 it's equal to opposite over adjacent, like that. Okay. Therefore, um, therefore the sorry, not opposite over adjacent, opposite over hypotenuse. Excuse me. Therefore, we'll say the the opposite is equal to h times the sine of seventy. All right. So where's the opposite for for this this one here? Up is this so from here to here? So that is equal to h sine seventy, like that. That one, this, this similarly, is, this is cosine, so this would be h cos 70, like that. But we know that the magnitude of the vector is 10 units, so that the magnitude of r, like that, that's magnitude, the straight angle brackets, is equal to 10, therefore is equal to h. Right, so therefore, the, uh, we'll say the i hat and j hat components are 10 sine 70 and 10 cos 70, like this. That's 10, and that's 10. What direction are they? Well, you remember as well that we have our, or we have plus i hat, plus j hat. Why well, do you know that? Look at the directions of our arrows, plus, plus. So this is minus i hat, but plus j hat. This is minus, minus, and this is, uh, let me think now, this is minus j, plus i hat, minus j hat. So look what quadrant this vector r is in. It's in here, so it's got minus i hat, plus j hat. Right, and so there are vectors, one is there like that, and the other vector is here like that. So this vector here is, is plus, but this vector here is minus. So you know that the vector r is equal to minus 10 cos 70 times i hat, and it's equal, uh, we'll say plus, and I can't write it in the same line, so plus 10 sine. 70 j hat, and that's what r is equal to. Alright, you've seen that plenty of times at this stage. So, and let's make, we know that r is equal to that, and what's s? Well, we know that s is along the positive i hat axis, or the, sorry, the positive x axis in the i hat direction. We don't know its magnitude, so s is equal to, s is equal to, question mark i hat and then I'm going to say is equal to what? We'll say just we'll call it a i hat. That's what s is equal to. But we know that we need to find out what s plus r is equal to. So there's r. So therefore s plus r. Now remember if they're facing the same direction on this they're in the same axis you can add or, or subtract them. And look here we have s is in the i hat direction or the x-axis and so is this vector here this vector here is in the j is in the y axis and we have no y component here so what we do is we go that s plus r is equal to minus 10 mind your brackets here now cos 70 plus a i hat like that um, plus 10 sine 70 j hat like that, and you could say as well plus zero j hat if you want, but we don't need to because it's zero and zero doesn't matter. So that's what s plus r is equal to. But look up here, we know that s has no s sorry s plus r has no i hat component. 
Alright, it has no I head component. What does that mean? It means that this part here, remember we know that S plus R is equal to 0 I hat plus, um, well, we'll say question mark J hat. That's what we know. So therefore, this part here is equal to 0. Alright, so we know that minus 10 times the cos of 70 uh, plus A is equal to 0. Therefore, A is equal to 10 cos 70. Alright? A is equal to 10 cos 70. Uh, so that's the vector S. So A is equal to 10 cos 70, but we also said that S is equal to uh, we said S was equal to uh, A times I hat like that. Therefore, it's equal to 10 cos 70 I hat like that. So let's check this out in the back of the book. So question 4 on 1E is 3.42 is what it says. So let's find out what its magnitude is. 3.42, so 10 times the cosine of 70 is equal to 3.42 so that's correct now the thing is how, that, how do you know that's the magnitude well look if you're following this really well you'll know that it's got no j component so whatever the magnitude is in the in in the uh, i hat is the magnitude but remember as well if we have a uh, if we have let's just rub out all this because we don't need it oh, sorry about that now <laughs> Gee, my presentation is terrible Okay, so we have here, we'll say, let's just draw the vector S. If we, if, no, we'll draw a random vector here, like that. We're going to call it A. Okay, so remember A is also part of a triangle when you resolve its vectors like this. Okay, so the, so use Pythagoras to get the length of it. So we'll say that's H, that's O, and that's A, where this angle here is theta. Well, you know that H squared is equal to O squared plus A squared. Right? Now that's that's nothing new to you. So well, what happens when when the the, the vector is along the, the x-axis? Well, it just means that the adjacent is equal to zero. So if we're after moving, there's our initial one. We move it down here, down here. So what you notice is theta is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and so is the opposite. The length of the opposite side is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So that tends to zero. And what you're left with is that h is equal to the op the adjacent because there is no opposite side anymore so therefore if you use Pythagoras so you say h squared is equal to a squared plus o squared well the reason h is equal to a is because well the opposite is af after going to zero right so you're left with this h squared is equal to a squared if you square the two sides you get square square root of h squared square root of a squared well that just means that well h is equal to a so in this case we have that S is equal to 10 cos 70 i hat plus 0 j hat. The 0 j hat is your opposite. Therefore, if you really want to just do this correctly, you go, we'll say that the magnitude of S is equal to, we'll say, sorry, the magnitude of S, that's the hypo squared, is equal to that 10 cosine cos dot 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 plus that to be squared plus 0 to be squared. And you'll get the same answer. Alright, please subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching and pass this video on to your friends.